गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट फाइलम एस की हेलमेंथीज सो इन दिस फाइलम वी विल सी द जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ एस की हेलमेंथीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन दिस फाइलम बेसिकली द वर्म्स आर राउंड वर्म्स एंड सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर दे आर इंडो पैरासाइट वन बाय वन वी विल सी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ this phylum which is called as the escalmenthes they are very much parasitic even when we talk about the escaries they used to lay egg that is 2.5 crore egg one time with a pair of male and female so they used to produce such large number of eggs which have eggs have the speciality that they have the exine layer which protect the internal material of the egg from the adverse condition and second is entine layer as it goes in human body the exine degenerates and entine develop into a baby worms and then the development take place and formation of adult escaries take place inside the body which is indo parasitic in nature now we'll understand one by one all the important characteristic feature of this phylum phylum escalmenthes so in this escalmenthes first characteristic feature is body is circular the body is circular and in cross sections when we cut the cross section means ts will see hence the name round worm so they are basically round worm the body is circular and when we cut the section we'll see and that is why we are calling the particular phylum as a round worm second important they are free living they are free living found in aquatic conditions in water bodies and terrestrial conditions in land any places whether it is food material or land on earth soil or they are parasitic in plants and animal they act as a parasite they found inside the body of plant as well as animals so that is important feature that they are free living they are aquatic the and terrestrial or parasitic in plants as well as in animals next important feature of this phylum is they have organ system means they have particular organ system like the cell combined together they make tissue and tissue combined together they will make organ organ combined together and then it will make organ system then body so they have organ system level of body organization it means that by this way we will understand they have organ system by which the body formation take place now we'll see bilateral symmetry is found in this particular phylum means if you divide the animal it will equally divide into two half so that is called as bilateral symmetry which is present in this particular phylum known as escalmenthes now they are triploblastic triploblastic means they have three germinal layers so they have triploblastic like ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm three layers are present in this particular phylum known as escalmenthes now we'll see that when we see the coelom they are pseudo coelomate so important feature of this phylum is the animals are pseudo coelomate pseudo means fall and coelom means cavity false cavity is found in this animal and that is why it is known as pseudo coelomate then the elementary canal is complete with the well development of muscular pharynx so muscular pharynx is present in this animal for eating the food material elementary canal is completely well developed so that is an important feature of this elementary canal which is found in phylum escalmenthes now excretory tubes excretory tubes removed they helps in removing the waste product of the body from the body cavity through the excretory pore so in the animal there is a excretory tube which is present inside the animal and they also have the excretory pore so by which the waste material are excreted out of the body sexes are separate means they are dioecious dioecious means male and female body are separate male body is found as well as female body is found so that is why we say they are dioecious females are longer than the male so female body is approximately we will see 15 to sometime it is up to 20 to 40 cm that is the length of a female body but when you talk about a male body it is 15 to 20 cm in length 
and we see the shape also in the diagram later on. So, here we will see that sexes are separate, they are diaceous and female are larger than the males as we have understand the length also. Now, fertilization is internal, internal fertilization is seen in the case of Ascalmanthes or any animal of this phylum which is called as Ascalmanthes. Basically, here the fertilization is internal and development is direct or indirect. The development we can see which is direct development take place means egg larva adult or indirect means escaping some stages, but larval stages are especially found. So, development is direct or indirect. Here we will see the examples, what are the major example of this phylum S. K. L. one by one. First is S. Caris, which is called as a round worm. It is a major animal of this phylum, S. K. L. is known as S. Caris, a round worm, they are also known as. Then Voucheria bencofti, second very important animal of this phylum is Voucheria bencofti, which is also known as Filaria worm and Encyclostomata, which is called as hook worm. So, we have these few examples of this phylum. Now, we will see the structure. When we see the structure, the A structure showing the shape J shape inverted diagram. This is a male Ascaris showing spermatica at posterior end. This is anterior end and this is the posterior end of the animal. Now, here we will see the female Ascaris and this is the body of a female Ascaris which is diagram B and they have the gonopore at the center where the fertilization internal fertilization take place. One more important thing their length is 20 to 40 centimeters, they are uh, longer than the male body and male body having 15 to 20 centimeters length and they used to produce 2.5 crore egg. By that they can fly easily, they can live in unfavorable condition and they are when they become adult they become endoparasitic and when they are endoparasitic they cause severe diseases like anemia, acute anemia or sometimes chronic also when they survive. When they go here and there sometime when the infection is very severe then patient have vomiting feeling as well as they have pyretic effect and then the patient may die also with the anemia if the medical. Uh, treatment is not given to the patient. So, this is all about the diagram and widely they can live in all the atmospheric condition which is unfavorable itself. So, by this way we can help you in understanding the phylum Aski Helminthes. Thank you.